first thing we need to do is press and hold the shift key while we restart the computer and we're holding shift key and we'll hit restart and we'll wait for the machine to restart here at this screen we're going to go ahead and click on troubleshoot and then we will click on advanced options and then we want to click on command prompt we need to enter two commands here that's the first command there and once we're done with those two commands we can go ahead and reboot the machine so click the X there and we'll hit continue and this will go ahead and restart the computer for us the computer's done restarting when we get to this screen right here, the login screen, we're going to go ahead and press the shift key five times, which normally would launch sticky keys, but we have replaced that executable with the command prompt. So when we press shift five times, we're going to go ahead and get this little prompt here. We can close that and here's the command prompt with admin rights. So we can go ahead and create a new user with two commands. And once we're done running those two commands, we can go ahead and exit out of the command prompt. And this time we do not need to hold shift. We will just restart normal. And as you can see down here in the bottom left corner, there's an uh, admin user now that we had just created. And we'll go ahead and click on that. And it's going to go ahead and log us in because we did not set a password for that user. Let's quickly go take a look at the admin account we just created. We want to make sure it's a member of the administrators group. 